So now you'll see the black line goes from top to bottom. One way of fixing that is with the layer selected, click on this little square down here, this add layer mask. And what that does is it will apply a layer mask. If you click on it now, um, you can go in and use your brush and um, as long as black gets rid of whatever's on the layer, white will reveal it. Um, this is a non-destructive way of editing images. That's what I did with this car here uh, in the other Photoshop layer. Um, as you can see, black here is everything that's been cropped out and the white is everything that was revealed. I've actually deleted the car. There it is again. Um, so now if I were to disable layer mask, you'll see that it was just a white background. So I'll go ahead and go over here. Um, I'm going to actually select an area here. And then with my layer mask selected, just, uh, whoops, delete layer mask, forgot to do that. With my layer selected, click on the layer mask and it will automatically uh, set it to that, uh, to within that uh, marquee that I created. So I'm going to duplicate layer and move this one over to the other side. Okay. And for these three, I'm just going to, oops, change the color from that to say a dark gray. Same thing here. And the last one. And what this does is it gives a little bit of uh, difference between the, the text and the lines. It adds some depth and I think it looks pretty good. Um, and the final thing is adding our footer. Add a new layer and we'll grab our marquee tool and drag out a nice gradient. Set our colors. Uh, I'm going to try something. Mm, no, don't like it. Alright, there, that looks pretty good. Um, I like gradients, they add a lot to an actual layout, um, and they add depth. You can get a, call, uh, a lot of cool effects. Um, uh, there's a couple layouts that I'm working on right now for some companies uh, that have some pretty cool uh, gradient effects. Um, so with this lay with add a new layer to the footer group, and then put in some text, and just about in the middle, um, just click and set the center align. And what this is going to do is you can add, oops, set that color to white. Oops. This will allow you to put in text-based uh, layouts or uh, text-based uh, menus. So that way, uh, you can give the the customer an example of what their their website is going to look like with an actual menu in place. Um, so home about us. I'll just do designs, tutorials and contact me. Oops, I hope if I use the same uh, text. Okay. And I'm just going to duplicate this because I'm going to put this up in my header as well. So I'll just drag this layer down to my header and you'll see it doesn't show up but that's because whenever you drag something into a group it puts it at the bottom. Uh, so just drag it up to the top. And of course, it's not up here, so it's not going to appear. I'm trying to figure out where I want to position it. I'll do this. Select it, set it right aligned, and I'm going to bump up the size to 24, uh, 18 point. That's a little too large. there. Okay. And then 
then go back to our footer and uh, I just do this put in the copyright and all that stuff because some cus uh, customers have asked me uh, well what's this why, why is this in there um, so I, I like to add everything that they might see in the actual web layout so that way down the road they don't have any questions or they don't like how something looks so now text, put it in the middle and center line, give it white color, and this is just your color, pick, uh, your color picker for your text. Forgot to mention that before, um, so we'll go ahead. This is my little quick shortcut for copyright. There's, uh, you can actually create one, and I think there's actually one in the um, shapes tool. Um, but I'll just I'll do my quick shortcut. It's easier to work with text that way. Uh, 2010. All rights reserved. All right. Just gonna move these around. All right, and that is our web layout. Um, normally, my footer wouldn't be so large. I was just had a lot of extra space, um, and I can just crop that out, actually. So I'm just going to do that. Oops. Did that a little backwards. OK, there we go. And then uh, with my footer, I got to reapply my gradient. So I'm just going to grab this. Control clicking on the actual layers icon um, will actually select anything that's on the layer. You need to do this if you're applying a gradient because if I did not do that, this is what would happen. Oops. So um, I'll just back up Control Z to, to go back. Uh, click on Control click on the uh, icon and drag out my gradient. I'm going to do it a little bit lower. There. And that is our web layout. Pretty simple. Um, the next video I'm going to talk about breaking this up into a usable CSS web layout. So stay tuned for that. And then hopefully I'll get to um, setting up an individual Photoshop, uh, uh, Firefox versus Internet Explorer. Um, when you're, I'll, I'll show you some tools and, and tips and stuff to use as far as uh, when you're doing your CSS stuff, stuff that'll help you speed up your development. Um, but please stay tuned for those. Um, those should be up within the next couple weeks. So uh, I will catch you later.